Let's model this project in 3ds Max. Start by creating a box of 20 by 30 and 30 meter high and increase the length and width segment to 5. Add an edit poly, select these surfaces, then invert selection and delete them. Now select these segments in the middle, move it down and move the other one up. Select the vertical segments and connect them. Do the same one more time with the upper ones, but this time add three segments. Keep them selected, then select the fourth range and extrude them with a value of one meter. Now we need to bring back these vertices to the same level as the first wall. Just select, align and move them. And from the top view, move these points also. Now add a turbo smooth modifier and increase the iterations. To make it better, move these points in a degraded way. Come back to these four segments, right click and transfer them for sharper edges. Feel free to always adjust your edit poly until you reach your desired shape. Now we just need to do the same thing for the other side. Make sure to extrude all the horizontal segments and then adjust the shape again. This will allow you to keep your objects uniform when applying a turbo smooth modifier. Go to the top view and create a rectangle. Align it to the first shape and adjust its dimensions to be smaller than the first shape and round its corners. From the top view, create a box and adjust its dimensions. Move its pivot to the bottom then to the right corner. From the modifiers list, add array. Change the distribution to spline and pick the rectangle from the scene. Change the array to fill and increase the distance between the elements. Now go back to the first shape and add a shell modifier. Finally, we need to add a boolean modifier. Press the iteration icon and pick the shape from the scene. Follow for 3ds Max tutorials.